Hello, I'm Lozzy and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about how to create your own guitar. Now, not from scratch, because I'm not a fucking carpenter, uh, never will be. I'm shit at any sort of DIY. So, what we've done in this video is buy a guitar, like, DIY kit, and uh, I've built it. And what I'll do is tell you how horrifically bad it went, because some areas did go really badly. We're, we're talking, you know, as bad as almost buying another one and starting from scratch because you know do I follow instructions no do I care partly but ultimately am I going to change never now if you ever wondered about how actually to go about this the easiest way is to get the DIY kit where you get the bits like the wood cut out just give you all the pieces and you just have to screw it glue it all that shit if you are some sort of magician with wood then obviously go and source your own wood, make your own guitar, get your own bits, and do it that way. I would not recommend doing that unless you know what the fuck you're doing. So to get it started, all I did, literally put in Google, build your own guitar. That brought up a list of, obviously, websites that sold them. I went to one that I'd been recommended by someone uh, because they were fairly cheap. And I'm gonna be honest, I know this guitar is probably gonna be shit, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of money on it. Now this link actually took me to a Strat, like kind of shape guitar. I didn't want that, I wanted to build a Telecaster. So I went into guitars, then electric guitars, as you can see here. And then I went on to the T-Series guitar, I believe it's called, which is obviously a Telecaster model or shape. Now I believe the price when I bought it was about 60 65 pounds it's been a bit it's probably been like a year since i've bought it the price may be slightly different now um considering the time has passed but i think it was about 60 to 65 pounds now you can actually buy if you want to skip this step altogether i don't know why you would but you can actually buy a ready-made version of this guitar like the actual guitar they're going to send you is just them making the guitar for you for like I think it's like a hundred quid. It may be a bit more than that, like 110 quid. I don't know why you'd ever pick that. This whole experience is about building it rather than buying the ready-built product. The whole idea is just to see if you can fucking build it. The option's there if you are that sort of absolute lunatic. So obviously with this Telecaster shape model, you get the neck with the fretboard on it, which is brilliant because you don't want to be fucking about with putting the fucking fretboard on a neck. You also get the solid body um, wood which is, I don't even know what the actual wood is, I'll have to look that up and I'll put it in the video. And you get everything here that you need, you've got your tuning pegs and all the stuff like the screws and that to screw them together, screw them into the wood. Then you've got all the other major bits like your tone and volume knobs and obviously the bridge position switch. It also does come with a set of strings, trust me they are as horrific as you could probably imagine but they're strings, you can play them, it is passable. You also get a jack lead, again, it is a terrible jack lead, but it is a jack lead, it does work. Then obviously you've got the pickups and you've also got the pick guard and the electronics that kind of click into each other so it actually works. So I paid for that one. Now it roughly took about two weeks to get here, if I remember that correctly. Obviously it is coming from a different country, so you, you do have to give them a bit of leeway. You know, don't expect next day delivery. I don't know what the delivery options were on it when I picked, but I'm pretty sure I just picked the standard one. Now, because of like, you know, I don't want to say it, I don't want to get political on here, but because of Brexit, it may differ for you because obviously I bought it when we were still part of Europe and all this shit wasn't going on. Uh, corona and that. Um, so, it may take longer. That's all I'm saying. Just want to warn you if you did want to do this. Well, without further ado, I'll show you the um, the finished product that I managed to put together. This is it. If I just like, you know, take a step back. Uh, that's what you're looking at. Now, as you can see, I've painted this grey, a kind of matte grey finish. That is not the colour it comes in. There are no colours at all. You get the wood, and that's it. Whatever the finish is on the wood that's what you get. Now I made mistakes almost immediately after opening the packaging because I don't know a lot about DIY, painting, decorating, like craftsmanship, wood, anything like that. I'm clueless. So I've taken the wood out of the box and obviously the two major bits of wood that you get are obviously the body 
this bit here, and obviously the neck. Now I've taken them out of the box and the neck is like a kind of light, light tone, like a light colour. The body was a really, really dark colour. That may happen, okay? I don't know whether they try to match it up or they just give you the fucking wood that they've got. I'd imagine they just go for whichever one's cheapest. So I got a mismatch in kind of like finishes on the wood and the colour, but I was going to paint it anyway so it didn't really matter to me. Now the big mistake I made upon opening it was, I'm going to varnish this, I need to protect the wood, because I didn't know if it come pre-varnished or not, I don't even know what to look for to see if it's varnished. I didn't bother to read anything in the actual pamphlet that you get, so I just decided to varnish it. So I got some varnish, varnished it, waited for it to dry. And then I had the brilliant idea of painting it. Now, I didn't think that was an issue, so I went out, I got a few tester pots of paint because I knew I wasn't gonna need like a massive pot. Now there was a bit of common sense there because I wanted to get the body sorted, uh, painted and ready to go so I could just put the neck on, screw it in and obviously do all the extra bits. So there was a bit of method behind the madness because I didn't want to start painting it after the guitar was fully assembled because I know I am absolutely useless at being delicate with paint, so there would have been paint all over the fucking place. Now I've been reliably informed that you don't varnish something and then paint over the top of it. I didn't know that. So there's me wondering why it's taken like four pots of tester paint to actually get it to dry properly. It's because the wood is not soaking it in. The wood is not allowing it to dry because of the varnish on it, apparently. You can see, if I just get that, those little bits here, that is the colour underneath. That was the, like, the tone of the wood underneath. So, yeah, that was my first big mistake, and that took ages to dry. We're talking probably about 72 hours for the paint to dry. I was happy with the colour of the paint, uh, and the finish of it, I thought it was alright. So once the paint had dried, after about three days, that was when the fun and games come. Because, and then check to see I got all the correct components, all the correct screws in that, uh, and I didn't. Now, I didn't kick up a big fuss at the time, and I'm still not, because it hasn't affected the, the functionality of the guitar. Although it is slightly annoying, because I can't put a, uh, a strap on the guitar, which is annoying, I'm not gonna use this to play any gigs or anything, I'm just gonna fuck about on it at home. If you're buying this to gig with, d d no. Just just go for a, a cheap guitar by like a reputable manufacturer. Don't buy this to g gig with, just don't. I've got all the major stuff, but I am missing the screws to go in that form, the points where you'd put a strap on the guitar. With like the top here, I'll show it to you. There's a hole here, there should be a knob there that a strap attaches to and also on the bottom there. I'm pretty sure there were instructions that came with this. Like I said, it was quite a long time ago that I actually built this. Uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't follow the instructions. I did it my kind of own way. I followed them like in main points. So when it told me to do stuff like connect the neck to the body, I paid attention. But there are certain steps that I went ahead and did first because I was just so eager to get it done. So I think the first thing I did with the neck is put the tuning pegs in. Um, I screwed them in. Obviously you put, screw them into the back and you've also got the tuning machines here that you uh, need to obviously line up. The next thing I did was screw in the neck. And that's quite a major thing because if you fuck that up, if you bend the wood or if it becomes slightly warped, you're not gonna get consistent sound from the guitar because of the strings might be affected by the bending or warping of the wood, which is gonna give you tuning issues um, and it's, it's just not a good good thing. But it, it seemed to be perfectly fine. Next thing I did was sort the pick guard out with the pick up there. Uh, screwed them in. That was probably the most arduous part of this and it was arduous because of my stupidity. I painted obviously the body, they'd given you guide holes for you to screw the pit guard in which is the white thing here. I just painted over it so the, the holes were no longer the size they were originally. 
so I had to screw them in and like kind of form the hole again myself with a screwdriver. It took me quite a long time and again proved that I know absolutely fuck all about anything. The next thing I sorted out was the electronics because that is a very important part of the electric guitar. So within the actual wood there are cutouts where the electrical parts will actually sit. It's very simple even for me I must say this wasn't an issue so you should be fine if you do this. It's literally matching up the colours, so red and black, I believe the colours were. You just like clip like these two like things with prongs in into another, like a male and female clip. I don't know if that's you're allowed to say that anymore in 2021. I don't know if electronics are, have gender stereotypes or not, I don't know. So obviously the, the three main parts for the electronics is here, here and here they all connect to each other and once you've got them in place and in the actual housing inside the the wood that they pre-cut out for you secure them in with screws here I'm oh, sorry here and here and you should be if you've connected everything up correctly ready to go the only other thing you do have to mess around with um, electronic wise and it is a bit fiddly a bit fiddly but it, it's not it's the thing that once you get it it is a few seconds but it is a bit fiddly once you get it like sorted it's just a few seconds but it was quite fiddly but that's the last bit of the electronics that you need to sort out because that's obviously where the jack lead goes which then connects to your amp the next task was to put on these strings so the set of strings that you get like i said before they are really shit like f i don't even know they're that bad that I don't even think you'd be able to sell them. Like if, if a shop was selling strings like those, for me, they're, they're criminal. Once the note was working, and after about a month of having it, I took the strings off that came with it and put strings on that were actually half decent. That is the finished, finished product. It's got a few scratches here and there, but it should still work. Now I say should still work because I ain't played this for probably about eight months. And even when I did play it last, it was a bit ropey. So what I want to do now is obviously put this into an amp, see if it works still, which is, there are question marks over that that I have. I, I do have to be honest, because I haven't touched it for eight, nine months. Um, so yeah, let's see if it works. For reference, I'm going to be putting this through a Roland cube can't recommend it enough if you want multiple like, effects on it and stuff for it's about 100 quid when I bought it really good um, quality it's it's not a giganamp. amp it's about 10 watt I thought well, 5 watt I can't remember how much power it actually has but it's a it's a brilliant just little amp you can use to play in the bedroom or whatever um, not not sponsored but Roland if you do want to sponsor me I'm all ears I'm here hit me up slide into my DMs also, for full disclosure, I'm not using the jack cable that came with it because it's a heap of shit. It works though. It does work. Trust me, it does work. I am using my own one because I, just, I can't be asked to swap them. Right, so that's, that's plugged in. Um, there was a bit of a crack noise when I when I plugged it in. So, I don't know. And also, I've got no strap, so I'm going to have to hold it like this. I should probably check for some tune first. Right, I've checked this in tune, it should be fine. Sounds a bit dull. Um, I don't really know if this tone knob is working, to be honest. Um, this one here is the tone knob at the bottom. Don't know if that's that's working. The volume one's fine, so that's that's good. I try and play something very awkwardly, so I've got to hold it like a fucking idiot. I suspect there is something wrong with the electronics, which is not great. It's making a fucking weird ass noise when I take. Like, it's almost like there's a, you know, there's something wrong there. Um, this position in the, I think it's the neck position the position switch, it just doesn't work. Doesn't work. The volume's turned up to max, don't work. But it does make sound. And it may be because I left it for so long and not really done the upkeep on it, it may be the reason why it doesn't work. 
but it, it plays something. So let's just fuck about with it and see if we can create like a decent sort of tone. play about with the uh, tones and that on the amp, see if I can get it to uh, sound any better. I'll also play around with the effects. Alright, let's, let's see how this sounds. It's a lot of reverb. Sounds a lot better. Um, it's very, very reverby, but I can sort that out on the um, the actual amp itself. It's it's possible. It's possible. Uh, like I said before, I would never gig with this um, ever because the parts are so cheap um, and very, very low quality. It's also very fucking difficult to play this. Let me tell you, without a fucking strap. So now I am kind of pissed off that I don't have a strap because I'm having to hold it like this to fucking play it. Like, lock it in with my fucking elbow so I've got hardly any control. Yeah, for 60 quid, 65 quid, plus delivery, whatever that was, not, not too bad, not too bad. <laughs> Now this is my other guitar that I use most of the time. This is actually a Epiphone model. I can't even remember the actual name of it. It's a semi-hollow body, so it's got space in between. The wood is it's hollow. Now let's see the difference between a actual production model guitar to one that I've actually built myself. I'll use exactly the same parameters on the on the amp, so nothing's changed. This one literally only has a volume knob and that's it, so that I can't change anything else on the guitar. So, as you can see, it sounds a lot better. There's too much reverb. I'll turn that down.
as you can obviously hear there's a massive difference between those two i would say building that guitar has been a very enjoyable experience despite the problems and the issues that i've faced mostly because of my own doing what i would say though is again if you are planning to play on any level like gig wise don't use that sort of guitar buy a ready made one it's not to say that your diy guitar can't be good it's just that the components you get with it are normally like the bottom of the bottom like the cheapest they possibly could source uh, they, they work but they're not great doesn't mean that you can't then upgrade it if you know what you're doing like buying different components i mean for example for sure that one that i've got that i've built that needs different pickups and it needs reworking on the electrics as well. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are looking to DIY yourself a guitar, let me know down in the comments. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Let everyone know that you liked it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.